hello everyone so today we are going to work on blocking so when i press h or block key you can see the uh, character is moving the hands closer to the face so he don't get affected by the attack of the npc but if i unlock you can see i get hit so yeah okay so that's what i'm gonna work on today so actually i did uh worked on everything and recorded the tutorial but after the recording i found out that my audio recording has been messed up for some reason so i'll just walk you through what i did instead of redoing the tutorial because i'm too tired and sleepy you now don't have time to do it again so yeah anyway here i have added a block action key h so here it is and uh, i have created this uh, fight idle blocking montage so this is actually uh, previously i was using this animation as the idle uh, animation when the character is not moving but since this is already looks like somewhat blocking i duplicated this and created this non-blocking animation which keeps the hands a bit lower so it looks like the character is not blocking and i am using this animation in this uh, here in this uh, animation blend space so that's what we get by default see that's what we get then uh, I added here I added this uh, layer blending to uh, play upper body animations with this setup basically default that means whatever we are getting from this state machine is going to the going to the space locomotion and the space locomotion is used as the base pose i'm not sure if you are familiar with this setup so this is basically how you set up layered animations and then base locomotion is going through this upper body slot so if i play some upper body animation it will be applied here and here i am blending these animations from the spine zero one bone that means above the spine zero one bone whatever i play here will be played and below that we will have whatever the animation coming from this base locomotion so this is like classic upper body animation setup layered blend setup so so that's why so because of that setup now i can play this fight idle animation montage which is playing in the upper body and this is a looping animation so when i press block key i play this animation and this blocking is activated so when i release the block key i stop the same animation and set this is blocking variable to false here i set it true here i set it false all right then kicking and punching reactions are played here in this macro directional attack macro here i am checking if the enemy is blocking if the enemy is blocking that means for that i have actually set up this interface event is blocking which i have implemented through this bpi finishers blueprint interface that i already had here so i simply return is blocking variable here that's all and then here 
if we have a valid enemy and if we are blocking we return no if we are not blocking we re if the enemy is not blocking take this yes path if the enemy is blocking so now if it is yes that means the enemy is blocking i just play this sound so because we still need to sh uh, show some give some feedback for the impact and if not blocking basically what used to happen before is happening so i have the same thing done for the kicks as well here so that's basically it see if i press edge i don't get hit if i release edge i get hit all right so i hope that is clear enough and i'm really sorry that the original tutorial got messed up but i tried my best to cover up what i did so in the future i hope to implement some animation reaction also like just some uh, way to show the impact even if the character is blocked even if the character is blocking so we will do that in the next in future episode and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye